Yeah, one of my favorite is writing flavor text for counter spells. Because one of our running joke on counter spells is they're always trash talking. Yeah. Like somehow if I counter spell you, I must trash talk you as I counter spell you. It's not bad enough that <laughs> all of your plans are being foiled. You have to have your nose rubbed in it. Yeah, something that somehow blue mages are just just kind of kind of you know. I know what you want to call them. Yeah, I won't say it. It's it's a family show, but uh, <laughs> they're uh, they're sometimes not the nicest people. This is Grey Merchant of Magic. Since nearly the beginning, Magic's counterspells have featured snarky, trash-talking flavor texts. This trend has continued until the present day. In this video, I'll be ranking every single example, which ended up being over 130. This is a blue mage's robe, obviously. What exactly counts? It's a little vague, but basically I'm looking at counterspells that feature flavor text with the counterer saying something negative towards or about the would-be spellcaster and or hyping themselves up. I'm going to judge them based on a combination of factors, including creativity, flow, and most importantly, how good they are as trash talk. Speaking of counters, feel free to make the like and subscribe counters go up. It really helps. 134, Summoner's Bane. I don't need to have the perfect plan. My foe just needs to have an imperfect one. Chase, that means that by definition, your plan is also imperfect. 133, Spell Rupture. Like water, mana will drain from an inferior vessel. Water will drain from any vessel. It will leak from an inferior one. 132, second guess. I see where you're going with that. I don't like it. This is very ineffectual sounding. 131, counterspell. The duel was going badly for me, and Zur thought I was finished. He boasted that he would eat my soul, but all he ate were his words. Maybe it's my Jin Zenus talking, but this is too long and clunky to be particularly effective. 130, wild ricochet. I knew that trick long before your great-grandmother's great-grandmother was born. This sounds like something that an older relative who I don't recognize would tell me at a family reunion. 129, reject imperfection. Reject imperfection. Your theory holds merit. You do not. This sounds cool in a vacuum, but the more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Why would Phyrexians admit to being interested in theories from an imperfect source? 128. Psychic Barrier. I tolerate Phyrexians because the dragon requires it, but I have no patience for uninvited guests. Tezzeret, who are you saying this very sensitive information to? 127. Offering to Asha. His body belongs to Bant now. His soul? I honestly don't know. I expect it belongs to the angels. The lack of certainty loses smugness points. 126. Mind static. It's always satisfying to stimmy the best efforts of a rival, but the reactions of the gruel are particularly amusing. And scatter arc. Should your chosen emissary be able to fluctuate triharmonic pentodes, however unlikely, I shall shunt excess negavolt radicals. These sound like the nerd emoji should be saying them. It's always satisfying to stimmy the best efforts of a rival. 125. Wash away. May the ocean take it. I've never been a fan of an expression meaning flavor text. I find them awkward. 124. Vex. The druids would be better off if they spent more time in the lab and less time watching trees grow. Just doesn't hit for me. 123. For Dalian Hexcatcher, you're just one more pollutant to be removed from the sea. We have a lot of problems to deal with, of which you are one is not as cool as this Morfolk thinks it is. 122. Wild Ricochet. May your day never match your expectations. Very polite trash talk. 121. Rewind. Let's go over this one more time. It's hard to read the tone on this one. 120. Rethink. Are you sure you want to do that? Rhetorical questions are risky. Yes, I am sure. 119. Rakshasha's disdain. Every failure, every death only makes my strength greater. The first time I read this, I thought that they meant their own failure. Ambiguity decreases effectiveness. 118. Stifle. Superior force meets woefully inadequate object. What paradox were you expecting? A little convoluted. 117. Death grip. Every forest is carpeted with the corpses of a thousand trees. Okay. I get that this is supposed to be anti-green trash talk, but I think green already knows that trees die sometimes. Green accepts natural death. 116, keep safe. Copacoats think they understand duty and loyalty, but they can't begin to fathom the depths of my bond. Seems defensive. 115, flash counter. She grinned at me. A wicked grin. I hope you weren't relying too heavily on that, my dear. Why is this in the form of a quote from a diary? I don't respect epistolary content. 114, insidious will. We meet again. Pyromancer. Menacing if you know the story, 
but perhaps confusing if you don't. 113, Flash Freeze. Your downfall is not your ignorance or your weakness or your hubris, but your warm blood. And is cold merely the absence of heat or force unto itself? Would a display of power help you decide? And nature, fire, bah. Both are chaotic and difficult to control. Ice is structured, latticed, light as a feather, massive as a glacier. In ice, there is power. You guys need to expand your interests. 112, summary dismissal. Let's start fresh, shall we? Starting over means no one has the advantage. 111, gainsay. You dry folk must take the air for granted. You constantly insist on wasting it. I'm imagining Kinesis making fuzzy noises after this. 110, force of will. Your artillery will burn out before I allow my focus to waver. Admitting that you will eventually falter, even after you've won, means you aren't smug enough. 109, lay bare. It's good to learn from your failures, but I prefer to learn from the failures of others. Jace, paper text like this is why people didn't understand your character for like the first 10 years of your existence. 108, Urza's rebuff. As usual, my brother's maneuvers are brash and impulsive. I expected more cleverness from Urza. 107, mind break trap. Life is a maze. This is one of its dead ends, though sometimes Hovertex tries too hard to be clever. 106, punish ignorance. Amateurish, nearsighted, a waste of my time and everyone else's. Overstuffed. 105, fervent denial. Your tenacity is admirable and futile. Maximum smugness means no complimenting your opponent. Even sarcastically. 104, spell pierce. There's a hole in your plan, not hard-hitting enough. 103, fervent denial. I prefer reality in which you are not. The opponent will need a second to process this, which stops it from being as biting as it should be. 102, dissipate. If you weren't born with it, you don't need it. I hate to be all, and yet you live in a society about this. But Gralia, you look like you're dressed pretty materialistically, my guy. 101, deny the witch. This heresy cannot stand. It is impossible to talk about heresy and come out looking cool. 100, crush dissent. All I ask is complete obedience. Now that's an evil overlord quote, but I'm not sure I think of Bolas as sarcastic. 99, cancel. I decide what stands in my way. This sounded cool in your head. 98, mana drain. Power is wasted on the weak. You never keep it for long. This one is also awkward. It's weird to admit that the weak have any power to begin with. 97, Press the enemy. I showed the blade reforged to him. He is not so mighty yet that he is above fear. The first sentence will be lost in anyone without fairly in-depth Middle Earth knowledge, but the second line still goes pretty hard in a vacuum. 96. Syncopate. Patience, mage. Killing you now will be too easy. Maybe I'm just prejudiced from growing up in an era where emo was a terrible insult, but I cannot take threats seriously from someone who has hair like that. 95. Exclude. I don't have time for you right now. I think this is a dad joke and dad jokes have too much warmth to truly be trash talk. 94, deprive. That would have brought shame to you as a mage. Tell you what, I'll keep your secret. Passive aggressive, but not the most biting. 93, essence scatter. Will you attempt to pull from the aether? I spread on the wind, poetic, I guess. 92, essence backlash. The other guilds will learn the hard way not to interfere with our investigations. Saying that you approve something in the future demonstrates that your power isn't already evident, losing smugness points. 91, flash counter. So much for that broad idea. It loses points because I'm not sure who's saying it. 90, Thassa's intervention. I bring a flood that none can withstand. I feel like a god's power shouldn't need to be declared. It should be self-evident. 89, Urtai's trickery. Don't worry, Gerard. I'm sure the crew will come to your rescue as quickly as they came to mine. We'll see later that Urtai can do much better. 88, Pyroblast. Just the thing for those pesky water mages. Maybe it's an intentional understatement, but pesky is not a very strong insult for a pretty outspoken character. 87, thought collapse. I can think of no greater punishment than answering your question in full. I am too caught up on what in full means in this context. 86, metallic rebuke. Too little, too late. The machine is in motion. A lot of alliteration. 85, furled mystic. Your arrival was expected and unwelcome. The unwelcome part seems kind of obvious. 84, Urtai's scorn. You're not so special, Karin. Anything that can be assembled can be disassembled, but anything that can be disassembled can be reassembled. 83, cancel. Even the greatest inferno begins with a spark, and anyone can snuff out a spark. Saying that anyone can do something isn't smug enough. 82, 
Bar the gates. This path is closed to you. I've seen the Fellowship of the Ring, too. 81. Constructed defense. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. I've seen Spider-Man, too. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us! By that I mean Spider-Man 1, though I have seen Spider-Man 2, too. 80. Override. Knowledge pool has all the answers, especially no. But if it has every answer, that means that sometimes it says yes. 79. Spell snip. Magic cast through a hand of flesh. It's just as weak as the flesh itself. Lotus, your hands are still flesh. 78. Syncopate. Fool, can't you see the tide has turned against you? I find it hard to keep the overly themed ones seriously. 77. Reinterpret. With just a little added flair. Your work could be truly spectacular. Let me show you. I like the flavor here, but it's not mean enough. 76. Stern scoring. Fool of a chuck. This is a serious journey, not a hobbit walking party. Throw yourself in next time, and then you'll be no further nuisance. Now be quiet. Iconic line, with lots of individual cutting remarks. But the combined quote is quite long for flavor text. 75, Jace's defeat. I'd hoped for more from you, Jace, but I expected as much. Disappointing someone often hurts more than angering them. I'm so hot. Why did I commit to this outfit? 74. Change the equation. It's not your fault. Strix haven't taught you an imperfect premise. Okay, the imperfect execution was your fault. This favorite text is too wordy. Okay, not officially, but you know what I mean. 73. Cancel. Let me try one of Kefnet's puzzles. This one was too easy. Nice word voting. 72. Convolute. Let's see how badly you want what you came for. Taunting, but not a full declaration of the counterer's superiority. Which I guess makes sense, since the card can be ignored if you have enough mana. 71. Logic not. Such sloppy work. Let's unravel it and try again. Imagining one of those ASMR boyfriend accounts saying this. 70. Convolute. There's no sense arguing with insanity. Solid enough put down. 69. Corrupted resolve. Flesh is a sickness that infects Phyrexia. This accurately depicts the Phyrexian mindset, but isn't the most memorable. 68. Force Spike. Well, I don't think so. Maybe it's just me, but this kind of seems like it's answering a question. Hey, was Force Spike first printed in Alpha? I don't think so? 67. Force of Negation. Try. If you must. It's definitely not the intent, but this one comes across as tragic to me. Like it's being said by someone as they're fighting a former friend. 66. Disdainful stroke. You're beneath contempt. Your lineage will be forgotten. Disdain and contempt are synonyms, so this doesn't really make sense to me. 65. Force of will. I alone determine my destiny. Too philosophical. 64. Unified will. We're glad to be of service. To be an audience to your failure. The equivalent of adding not to the end of a sentence. 63.5. Dispel. I forgot this one. I said we should destroy the Eldrazi. Ugin wanted to return them to stasis. Ugin's arguments were unconvincing. The first two lines are important exposition, but they drag the punch of the hole down. 63. Bane's Contingency. My whims dictate the fate of nations. Your pitiful mortal magic is no more significant to me than a gnat buzzing in my ear. This has accurately captured the energy of your dungeon master monologuing to you. 62. Annul. Many giants have tried to crush me with their hammers. They never stop me with that little toy. Good ward boating. Also vaguely Freudian. 61. Common Courtesy. You didn't say the magic word. It's a pun. 60. Force of Will. Were you ever taught that it's rude to interrupt? The intentional hypocrisy of a counterspell complaining about interruption is nice. 59. Absorb. In your misguided attempt to subvert the law, you have eloquently explained why the law must exist. This represents the Azorius pretentiousness and perspective on the law well. 58. Denied and falsify. Don't worry about it. It happens every made sooner or later. Gross. But comedic enough. Not sure why they literally copied and pasted it, though. 57. Absorb. Your presumption is your downfall. Presumption just doesn't have optimal mouthfeel. 56. Negate. You cannot be an Ochu Time Monk. They prize wisdom and skill, and you have neither. This one seems especially mean. 55. A disdainful stroke. Laws apply only to those who lack the vision to see past them. Pretty smug, but loses points for being against a wider concept as opposed to a specific person. 54. Spell pierce. A fool's fire is quickly quenched. A lot of these are water-based. Speaking of which... 53. Bind. The battlefield is cluttered enough. Be still. I think this would be better if you cut the first sentence. 52. Dissolve. You thought only the gods could stop you? I like this one because it implies a refusion of someone else's hubris with some hubris of the major's own. I like the word hubris. 
51. Divide by zero. Misery, inadequacy, failure. Common denominator is you. Nerdy but effective. 50. Anti-cognition. I think not. I think it's a pun. Nice. 49. Annul. Why pray to the gods who feed on your worship? Dissolve your illusions and see the true nature of things. Bit edgy, but I can see how this guy successfully led a cult. 48. Counterspell. Your attack has been rendered harmless. It is, however, quite pretty. Not only countering a spell, but making a mockery of it is a good one-two punch. 47. Didn't say please. If you're in our homes, we expect you to mind your manners. I like the contrast between the casualness of the line and the intensity of the concept. 46. Censor. Why so many questions? 45. Remand. At least all that arm waving and arcane babbling you did was impressive. I can feel how fed up this guy is. 44. Saruman's trickery. I gave you the chance to aid me willingly. The menacing quality fits this character well. 43. Cancel. What you're attempting is not against the law. It is, however, extremely foolish. This one grew on me. He's powerful enough to stop people not because he's supposed to, but simply because he wants to and can. 42. Dispersal. 42. Dispersal shield. Dispersal shield. Dispersal. Dispersal. Dispersal shield. Close enough. Maybe next time. Short and sweet. Unlike me trying to say dispersal. 41. Spell snuff. Good night. Threatening and impactful. 40. Undermine. What would you like first? The insult or the injury? They've distilled the core essence of counterspell flavor text. 39. Miscast. Next time, try something more appropriate for your skill level. This would be especially effective against me because I'm very afraid of disappointing teachers. 38. Counterspell. It's probably a lousy spell in the first place. Here's our first good Urtai flavor text. 37. Mystical Dispute. Poor lost mage. Your feet are on land, and yet you're over your head, aren't you? So condescending. 36. Disruption Protocol. Let's just turn that off, shall we? Rhetorical questions can be very biting. You just have to use them correctly. 35. Disdainful Stroke. I've known for a year that you would cast this exact spell at this exact spot at this exact time. I think Raphine's lying, but still an impressive boast. 34. Plasm Capture. Everything serves a purpose, even you. Great. Backhanded compliment. 33. Decisive denial. I've heard enough. Decisive is right. 32. Saw it coming. How predictable. Excellent, Spugness. 31. Stifle. If I wanted your opinion, I would have told you what it was. Good demonstration of power. 30. Cancel. It is forbidden. Asking why is irrelevant. The pinnacle of Azorius counterspell quotes. 29. Dismiss. There's nothing you can do that I cannot simply deny. At first, I was going to say that deny is actually a different counterspell, but it turns out that is not actually true. You win this round, Urtai. 28. Psychic Rebuttal. I know what you're thinking. Jace whispered in the mage's mind. It's not going to work. Unsettling, but effective. Finally a good one from Jace. 27. Negate. As one, nature lifts its voice to tell you this. No. The idea of nature collectively trash-talking someone is very funny to me. 26. Convolute. No. Thank you. Simple, yet incredibly smug. Very efficient. 25. Last word. Someday. Some were best me, but it won't be today, and it won't be you. This favorite text is iconic for a reason, but the admission of mortality keeps it from being top tier as trash talk specifically. 24. Life Force. Every fallen tree nourishes a thousand seedlings. The response to Death Grip's flavor text is basically the same statement. It really goes to show you how nonsensical Baron Syngir's point was. In this context, the statement sounds a lot more badass. 23. Negate. It's frustrating, isn't it, to be so weak and ineffectual? Don't worry, you'll be complete soon enough. Creepy. I like it. 22. Burnout. Gotcha! Jai is the queen of snarky flavor text, and this is no exception. I appreciate the all caps. 21. Dovin's Veto. Must be infuriating to pour so much rage into your assault and see it wasted. Perhaps you'll learn something from this. He's talking down to his opponent so much. 20. Condescend. And we'll never see what all the fuss was about. When the literal name of the card is Condescend, you really need to stick the smug landing. And they did. 19. Spell Pierce. If you make me spill my drink, you're buying me a new one. Overwhelming self-confidence. 18. Dovin's Veto. I see you've learned nothing, genre. You'd still put a match to something rather than understand it. The character history adds to this, but I think it still hits even if you're not familiar. 17. Assimilate Essence. You have no viable escape vector. Cease your resistance and accept perfection. To the point and threatening. 16. Counterlash. Pathetic. Let me show you how it's done. The best counterspell flavor text combines a put down with a boast. This cleanly does both. 15. Disallow. How easily your flames are quenched. Just 
oozing utter contempt. 14. Mana Leak. If a man will begin with certainties, he shall end in doubts. This one gets bonus points for the real world quote actually working well in the context, which often was not the case. 13. Counterspell. If only there was a way to counter your inevitable whining. Unreal levels of smugness. She's calling you a baby for something you haven't even done yet. Oh, for gainsay. I'd be happy to stop contradicting you, Urza. Just as soon as you start being right. That's good stuff. All the cool kids hate Urza. 11. Fuel for the cause. Your ideas will be discarded and your will repurposed. That's pretty metal. 10. Aquatus Disdain. The first time was amusing, but now you're getting tiresome. Excellent flavor. 9. Envelop. What you made will be unmade. What you learned will be unlearned. And when you're done, you'll be undone. This is the undoing of a legacy. Real hurtful stuff. Aquatus is a counterspell flavor text icon. 8. Mana Drain. I suppose you've never heard of conservation of energy. This one is very clever. 9. Spell Blast. Perhaps you could try throwing a rock. That might be better suited for your intellect. This one achieves the same means with the opposite rope. 6. Swift Silence. The world may not know peace, but in my presence, you will know silence. Very forceful. 5. Whirlwind Denial. No, no, and no. I'm surprised that there's no flavor text that's literally just no. But this is pretty close. Four, mental misstep. Your first mistake was thinking about you live long enough to make a second. Phyrexian counterspell flavor text almost always goes hard. And this is my favorite. Three, pyroblast. I told you it would melt. What I've learned is that I tend to find the intersection of counterspell and red mage flavor text to be very funny. Two, force of will, amateur. All the paragraphs of flavor text can't compare to this one single word. One, Urtai wizard adept. Was that it? This does an excellent job of representing Urtai, the king of the snarky counterspell flavor text, with a line that's simple, to the point, and biting. I find that the unitalicizing in flavor text often looks bad, but the design of the sentence is really clean here. Excellent flavor text all around, and in my opinion, the epitome of counterspell trash talk. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. It really helps the channel, and it shows what types of videos my viewers like to watch. I'd love to rank other flavor text tropes, like the expression meaning and the last word ones. And let me know if you disagree with any of my rankings. If you like ranking videos, I've made a bunch before in Magic, including on target Minotaur cards, Karn Sadness cards, the gods of magic, vampire art, and numerous others. As always, big thanks to my patrons for helping make this possible. If you want to join them and gain early access to videos and behind the scenes information, that's linked below. Bye!